welcome to the studio of the WISIS Plus 20 Forum high level event here in the beautiful city of Geneva in Switzerland. I'm joined today by Minister Emilia Stoymanova Do, who is the outgoing chair of WISIS Plus 20 Forum. Thank you for your time. Thank you for inviting me. Now, we spoke earlier and you told me about the benefits to uh, being the chair for your country. Tell me more about that. Uh, so, of course, being a chair of a forum like this one, where we have more than 1,000 participants, it's a great opportunity where we can present what are we doing in Slovenia, what our priorities are, uh, where our standings are at the moment, uh, how we're dealing uh, with the challenges of the digital transformation, and also to uh, have the opportunity to showcase the best examples. Exactly. You say showcase. How does Slovenia contribute to achieving the SDG goals in the field of digital transformation? Slovenia contributes a lot in many of the SDGs. Uh, for example, in Slovenia we have a, uh, connectivity as a universal service, which means uh, every citizen on their permanent res uh, residence has a right uh, to connectivity. Uh, so this is definitely one of the crucial SDGs. Uh, then uh, when it uh, comes up with the quality, uh, we have uh, the government is funding a lot of trainings for all citizens, uh, all age groups, for all genders. Uh, so nobody's really left behind because uh, if they cannot afford themselves, then the government here is trying to help them. Uh, also, when it comes to the digital public services, we are trying to uh, create digital public services that will be useful for everybody. So uh, in many ways, uh, what we are trying to do uh, at the Ministry of Digital Transformation is aligned with the goals, the sustainable development goals, and also the Digital Slovenia strategy, which was adopted uh, last year, uh, is aligned with the SDGs as well. Okay, interesting. What are the main um, uh, challenges in the digital field, would you say? So in Slovenia, we are very proud that 94% of our households already have access uh, to high-speed connectivity, which is excellent, and uh, it's not the case in the rest of the world. Our biggest challenge are the digital skills and competences. Uh, it's less than half of our population has at least basic digital skills and competences, and uh, we lack uh, a huge number of ICT experts. And this is something that we need to... Uh, work on in the future years. Uh, we need more experts in artificial intelligence, in Internet of Things, uh, data analytics, and so on and so on. But also we need citizens that have at least basic digital skills so, so that they will be able to use uh, the digital public services that were introduced by the government on one side uh, and on the other side that they will know how to use the new digital technologies to protect themselves uh, from all the threats that are uh, expressed by the digital technologies and so on. Sure. You're the outgoing chair. Switzerland is coming in. What is your message to them for this year's forum? The most important thing is to try and connect the ITU uh, and the rest of organizations to work together uh, because uh, new technologies bring a lot of challenges. Uh, just let us see the artificial intelligence. And uh, we cannot solve all these challenges on our own. Uh, we have limited capacity uh, in terms of finance, in terms of human resources. Uh, so it is very important that we work together, that we share all these resources and make sure uh, that this is the only way how uh, we will achieve not only the sustainable development goals, but all the goals we have set. Minister, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for the questions. And that's all. More coming up from the studio of the WISIS Plus 20 Forum high-level event. Stay tuned.